Hello and welcome, my name is Autobahn Bisquick and welcome to Company of Heroes 3. It's been a while, but Company of Heroes 3 is out and I am once again needed. So let's just get right into it. This is the current standard opening for the United States Forces, the USF. This is the Pathfinder Open. The first thing that you need to do is queue up three scouts. This will bring your total of scouts up to four at the end of this, but they aren't going to stay scouts very long. As soon as you have your fourth scout queued up, select the airborne battle group and take the pathfinder upgrade. This will turn all of the scouts into pathfinders as they spawn which gives them various upgrades, including a fourth model and free access to recon flares and smoke grenades. Now it's important to queue up all of the scouts before upgrading them. This is because scouts actually cost 40 manpower less than pathfinders. So by upgrading after you queue them, you save about 120 manpower. Even when considering that as each pathfinder spawns, they need to reinforce the fourth man, you still end up saving manpower. After the last Pathfinder comes out, you pick up the T2 upgrade, the support weapon company, and from that you should get the HMG. After that, once you afford it, you pick up the Mechanized Support Company. It's important that you pick the Mechanized Support Company because the next thing we get is going to be the Quad Half Track. The Quad Half Track is the USF's really game power spike. It's capable of tearing up both German infantry and light vehicles. After the quad, don't forget to pick up the field hospital once you can afford the manpower. After that, it's time to drop your first paratrooper. And after that first para, we have some options. I typically go for a second para, however, if you need it, you can call in the airdropped AT gun from your battle group. At this point, your army is four Pathfinders, an HMG, the Half Track, and one Paratrooper, and either a second Paratrooper or an AT gun. At this point, our goal is to get the Tank Supply and then a Sherman. However, depending on how the game's going, you may be able to afford another unit here before you have enough fuel to buy the Sherman. So if I can afford another unit, I either go for my third paratrooper or an AT gun. Once you have the tank supply and can afford a Sherman, you get your Sherman, and this will be the core of your army. This leaves you with around 35 population with which you can keep on expanding your army. Typically, I just keep spamming out Shermans and give them the 76 millimeter gun upgrade. However, you might find yourself needing the Wolverine, more HMGs, or maybe more paratroopers. At this point, it is up to you to fill out what your army needs to counter the enemy build. Either way, I hope I've given you a place to start off with the United States forces in this game, and I'll see you next time.